Healthy Me, health, wellness, nutrition and fitness on Lunchtime Live with Saskia V. It is brought to you by Renewal Institute and one of the fantastic doctors at Renewal Institute, Dr. Moritz Kruger. We have chatted to you before. Thanks so much for coming in again. Hi, Saskia. Thanks for having me again. Although last time was at a golf day. That's right. So it was quite exciting. So this is our studio. Very nice. <laughs> um, you're a registered homeopath. You're also an iridologist um, and you obviously have a special interest in anti-aging and That's functional right. medicine. Yes. Um, and you are, of course, part of the medical team at Renewal Institute. So you sort of move from branch to branch in Gauteng. That's right, yes. Um, so we're chatting about sleep breathing disorders today. Um, what are the most common sleep disorders or sleep breathing disorders? The two most common sleep breathing disorders we see are obstructive sleep apnea and upper airways resistance syndrome. With obstructive sleep apnea, there's obstruction to breathing and people actually stop breathing from anywhere from 10 seconds to oh. almost a minute. Uh, Almost a minute. Multiple times per hour. Does this then wake you up? No. People with obstructive sleep apnea don't wake up from the obstruction. They actually sleep like a log. They sleep straight through it. Hmm. The other form of the disorder, upper airways resistance, where there's resistance to breathing but not complete cessation of breathing, those patients may wake up frequently at night and have fragmented sleep. Okay, so that will affect your sleep then. Yes, it does. But now, what, what is the problem with sleep apnea? Well, sleep apnea can lead to quite serious consequences if it's left undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. It particularly leaves you vulnerable to heart disease and to diabetes. And it's estimated that it can increase your risk for heart attacks and strokes by as much as 30%. Sure, so this is an important thing to diagnose, but it often does go undiagnosed. Why is that? It does. I think that uh, the symptoms are often nonspecific and people don't associate it with their sleeping, especially patients with obstructive sleep disorder who sleep soundly through the night don't realize that this is causing their their symptoms or their problems. And uh, it's estimated as much as a third of the population suffers with apnea and Mm. as much as 80% of those patients are undiagnosed. The main sign for it is snoring and people don't take something like snoring seriously. It's often made, made into a joke. Yes, like my husband. Uh, (laughs) What would some of these symptoms be if you do suffer from from sleep apnea? One of the most common symptoms would be fatigue. Um, It can be quite severe fatigue. And then also daytime sleepiness, drowsiness, sleepiness. Um, Snoring is, like I said, a main sign Mm -hmm. of it. It can lead to increased aches and pains in the body, symptoms like fibromyalgia, Hmm. um, increased levels of inflammation in the body. Sure. And much more. There's, there's often lots of symptoms that seem unrelated. Things like sinus problems, heartburn and reflux, anxiety, depression can all be related to a sleep breathing disorder. Sure. I think in, in modern day life, people are so busy that I think we see fatigue and drowsiness as just part of life. Part of life so you often right. don't think... You know, that there's something else actually Underlying wrong. The yes. yes. So I think, that, yeah. Um, how, how do you actually diagnose it if somebody came in to, to sleep renewal? Well, we screen patients with questionnaires, and the patients that we find to be candidates who seem to potentially have a problem, we do what we call a sleep study or polysomnogram. At this stage, we offer home based tests where patients take the equipment home with them and they sleep, at, sleep with the equipment at home. Mm-hmm. From the 1st of November, when our branch in Morningside opens, we'll be able to offer a full polysomnogram where people actually sleep over in the branch. And they'll be tested there. So, and then do you have to sort of stay awake for a really long time before <laughs> before this happens? Like you see in the movies. Uh, I haven't slept for three days for my sleep trial. It might help so you can sleep with all those machines attached, attached to you. Attached to you. Yeah, but we try and make it as comfortable as possible. And the home-based studies is very comfortable. It's it's minimal discomfort. And especially because you're doing it in the comfort of your own bed. Okay, um, so, so then easy. you've obviously got machines that are attached to you. Yes. And then bring yes. it back. You look Absolutely. at the data. Yes. And then what sort of... What sort of things can you give people? So say, say, okay, I come to you and you say, yes, okay, you, are, you now diagnose me with sleep apnea um, or with upper airway resistance. What, what can be done about it, actually? For upper airways resistance, there's a couple of options that we can look at. Firstly, to look where the the obstruction is coming from. Often it's something like a sinus problem. 
So treating the underlying cause could help. And this is part of functional medicine that, that you practice. Yes. Yeah. And then there's also what they call a mandibular adjustment device that moves the lower jaw slightly forward. It opens the airway a little bit. For patients with obstructive sleep apnea, the gold standard in treatment is a CPAP machine, which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. It's a mask that attaches to your face, connected to a machine that puts uh, air down your, your airway with, at a certain pressure. And is that, that, is that not quite weird to sleep with? Do you, takes, you must get used to it. Obviously. It takes some getting used to. People do get used to it, but the difference it makes to your health and the way you feel makes it worthwhile. Makes it completely worth Patients it. who comply feel like they've got energy that they haven't had since, huh. since they can't remember. What other sort of self-help tips can you give people at home? For sleep specifically. For sleep uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we look at we look at uh, something we call sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene is just good habits around sleep. So one of the most important mistakes that people are making today is staring at its screen for hours before they go to sleep. Mm-hmm. We recommend that you switch all the electronics off, switch off your TV, switch off your But then how can phone. I fall asleep in front of the TV? <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that is that the, the spectrum of light that the screens emit disrupts our melatonin production. And melatonin is responsible for our sleep rhythm mm. or our sleep cycle. And that disruption can cause significant uh, disruption of your sleep. Because that's the hormone that sort of comes out when it gets dark. And that's yes. why getting dark... Yes. It's supposed to, you know, make, make you feel a bit, yeah. yeah and right. now you've got this brightness that's, so you're not having enough melatonin. Not enough. It doesn't oh. get produced enough. Sure. Okay. So that's, that's one tip. That's one tip. Another tip is to have a healthy bedtime routine. Do something relaxing before you go to bed. Read a book, not a Kindle, because a Kindle is going to give you the same problem. So a Kindle will give you the same it problem. Will. Any electronic okay, screen, okay. whether it's a cell phone, a Kindle, a laptop, or a television. Hmm. Um, have a bath have a have a conversation with your partner do something relaxing other than staring at a tv screen hmm. and make sure your bedroom is comfortable make sure it's well ventilated make sure your pillows and bed is comfortable and there's no strong odors or lights in your bedroom yeah those little lights that will wake me up a, like a pilot light on the tv will literally wait it drives me crazy it's, any light can disturb your sleep so sure. john says what are the costs involved um for the sleep apnea testing at home um, we charge five and a half thousand for the test, mm-hmm. of which two thousand is a deposit, which you can redeem once you return the equipment, and we redeem okay. it on on uh, the functional medicines that you might use to 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 look at some of the symptoms that you're experiencing. Okay, so you're kind of looking then if you do then spend that two thousand on medicine and stuff about five and a half thousand. That's correct. Yes. Okay. And what kind of results have you seen? Dramatic results. Um, I think the, the the fastest and most dramatic results we see is pe- people with true obstructive sleep apnea because the impact is so great. When when the 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 sleep breathing disorder disappears with the treatment, so many so many aspects of their life just, just comes change, back together. Yeah. Energy levels, heart, uh, um, blood pressure, blood sugar control. On an emotional level, things like depression, anxiety disappear, mm-hmm. irritability disappears. Now, sleep is a sleep is a huge huge thing. I remember when I my little one was really small and I thought I had some form of postpartum depression and I went, I went to a doctor and she says no you don't have any of the symptoms. You're just really tired. <laughs> I thought oh my god. And it just shows you the effect that that can have on you. Absolutely. And sleep is vital. Good quality, not just sleep, but good, good quality, quality sleep. That's it. Sure. Very interesting stuff. Dr. Moritz Kruger, um, one of the doctors at Renewal Institute. How do we get more info? Uh, you're welcome to visit the web- website, www.sleeprenewal.co.za. There's quite a lot of information on both the different types of um, sleep breathing disorders. Mm-hmm. Or they're welcome to phone 0861 Skin SA. Okay, 0861 Skin SA or sleeprenewal.co.za. It was so good having you here. Thank Come you, visit us again soon. I will definitely. Thank you very much. Healthy Me. Health, wellness, nutrition and fitness on Lunchtime Live with Saskia V.